Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. And now in this tutorial session, I will convert a shell script into a Mac OS X app. Yes, you can see on my screen on the left hand side we have this notepad, and on this notepad we have all the steps mentioned. We will proceed these steps one by one. On the right hand side, there's a folder. This is my current working folder. I will perform all these actions in this folder. So guys, let's get started with the step one. Okay, in the first step we have to create a folder and we will put a extension dot app. So do the right click, select new folder and give a name of your choice my shell script dot app. Make sure you are giving this folder name with dot app extension. Once you do it, click outside, you get a pop up box, click on this add. Now your folder will be converted to a app like We have done with the step one now we will proceed for the step two do the right click on select so package contents now you are inside this folder create another folder with the name contents we have done the step two now we will proceed for the step three now we have to go inside this contents folder and again we have to create two more folders first one is mac os and the second one is resources so we have created the first one now i'm creating the second one resources okay so far so good we have done three steps now we are going to perform the fourth step in the fourth step we have to create one file which is info.plist file inside the contents folder all the contents for the plist i have given in the description box so you guys can copy the contents and create a text document and paste it here for saving the time i have pasted all the contents right here in this agenda list file so i'm just copying from the left hand side and pasting here in the new text document okay let me show you something there are some important things like cf bundle get info strings so you can specify the company name and copyright information after that this is the key for the bundle identifier specification you can give the bundle identifier this is application name and the package type is bundle bndl values and this we have a, a key and its principal class because we're going to run this script as a executable that's why and another key cf bundle executable that is specifying that we have a shell script as a executable so we have given the name main dot command so we will execute main dot command as a executable after that we have this key cf bundle icon file which is specifying the name of the icon file and the last key is not a uh, necessary i am not describing you right here i will cover it up in a uh, next tutorial session okay guys we uh, have completed the step 4 so i have pasted all the content of in plist file now going to save this and uh, give the name info.plist click on the save so this a uh, text document just saved on the desktop now i'm going to copy and paste inside the contents folder so here is our info.plist file and we have uh, completed our step 4 now going to proceed for the step 5 in this step 5 we have to go inside the mac os folder in this folder we have to create one file main.command.sh file make sure you are going to create the file with this name after that we will remove the dot h extension this is the important for this file this going to be a shell script file and we will put all the execution command or whatever the action you want to perform you have to write a shell script code and you have to put inside this file for the execution and here on the left hand side this is the sample i have uh, already written for saving the time you guys can this copy 
this content from the description as well so like this way from uh, top line to the bottom line copy all the content open a new text document and paste it here as you can see this is the comment uh, this is a standard comment so you can specify the file name created by copyright content and then you can get the local path for the application and finally here you have to give the shell script code that you want to execute so right here I have written a single line of shell script that will open a display box and uh, hello cool IT help will be displayed on that message box so we are going to execute this line of code with the help of uh, this Mac app okay now we're going to save it so this is the important step please uh, make sure have to save with main dot command dot sh file and now I'm going to click on the save button and you can see file is saved now I will copy this from the desktop and I will put this file inside the Mac OS folder now we are going back to our point five and uh, this is the important step we have to remove the extension dot sh from this file because this is going to be the executable so click on the rename and remove this sh extension from this place click outside and it will ask you for the action you have to select the second one use dot command okay it's done so this is the uh, complete step now in the fifth step we have to perform one more additional thing we have to grant some permission on this file because we are going to make it executable okay so we have to run this command chmod u plus x to do that I'm going to open the terminal so here's the terminal and we have to run that command and we have to grant some permission on this file so just drag and drop and you will get the path of this file so we doing the CD and now we are inside the OS folder and just copy this command from uh, the description box and uh, execute this to grant some permission here we go permissions granted now we have completed the fifth step completely this is the major step don't forget to do that otherwise you will get some permission warning and your app will not work okay guys I just closed down uh, the terminal window and we have completed our uh, fifth step now we are going to work on the step six at the sixth step we have to go inside the resources folder and we have to place one ICNS file so we are going to provide an icon to our app to do this I have already uh, created one icon with the extension a double p uh, name is a double p dot icns and let me show you the information about this file and uh, this see this the dimension is only 32 by 32 and this is extension is icns you can download any icon from the net so you can just do some hands-on for the with this app now we are inside and going to paste the icon app.icns okay guys we have completed all six step now we are on the seventh step at this place we will verify our uh, work and finally we will test it now we are inside the contents folder Mac OS folder resources folder and one plist file in the Mac OS we have the our executable main dot command and the, inside the resources we have the icon file for our app let me show you one thing where we have configured our ICNS so you can see info dot plist content we have this key cf bundle icon file there we have specified the name of this file 
if you have got if you have any different name icns file so you can change the name at this place so your icon will be accepted by this app so we have uh, good to go we have done all these steps and we have verified our steps as well now the time for the testing okay so i'm going to create a new folder and we will perform the test as you can see we already placed the icon but it is not reflecting so create a new folder test run outside and just copy this app from this working folder to the test run folder and paste it here and you will see your icon will be applied on this app this is our my shell script which is ready to run and now we will test it so guys just double click on this and see the action you can see icon is set in the dock and the message box appeared hello cool it help with ok and cancel button as we were expecting because we have placed single line of shell script code inside main dot command file if you have uh, multiple lines you also placed in the main dot command file okay i will run it again no worries it is working perfectly fine i hope you guys found this video useful please like this tutorial and guys please subscribe my channel or you can press the bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help